Hey everybody, we're back again today on the range. We have a special guest with us. This is Mike from RMA Armament. We have a special treat today. We have one of their level four plates. They took us up on our challenge of our 300 wind mag with the 163 grain armor piercing round. For our protocol today, same as always, we're gonna be at 45 feet. We have our clay briefcase as a backer to measure back face deformation if this does stop it. We're very optimistic that it will. We will use our 22 inch Savage Pro Chrono Pal Chrono if it reads. It's probably 80 degrees outside today, not too humid. So let's rearrange everything and get set up. Do you want to check it first? Sure. Velocity was 3276. All right, here is our first shot right here. You can see a lot of damage there. What do you guys think? Oh, no pass through. Yeah, that plate stopped that round. As far as back face goes, just a guesstimation, 25.15 millimeters. We've got plenty of plate left on this. This is a tile array, level four. It's not a monolithic piece of ceramic. We've got actual tiles that are butted up next to each other here. So we're gonna take a couple more shots at this plate and see what's gonna happen. Since it stopped that first shot, we're gonna put three more consecutive shots on this plate and then we'll go down and see what it did. Velocity was 32, 36. You need me to go reset that plate on there? Because I see it knocked it to the side. You do that. Thirty-two oh Here is our second, third, and fourth shot. Lots of ceramic here. What do you guys think? Oh, three shots stopped. That fourth shot did pass through. It's kind of on a weird angle. The core sitting down inside the clay. I'll have to see if I can grab it out of there when it gets cool. But that's, that's downright impressive. Three of those rounds stopped, 45 feet, dead in its tracks. While we're out here with RMA's plate, we have some M80A1. This is a 130 grain round, has a steel tip that we measured the hardness 48 to 49 on the C scale, has a copper slug behind it, and we have these loaded right around 3,000 to 3,050 feet per second. We have our standard M1A, we'll try for a shot at on the plate where it hasn't been hit and see what's gonna happen. I don't think it's gonna pass through. <laughs> the 
velocity was 30, 30. Here's our M80A1 shot right there. And no pass through. Even already on this plate that had one failure. Found a nice hard spot down there. And there is no pass through. There's lots of ceramic everywhere. No pass through. 300 Win Mag M2AP. Three rounds stopped. The fourth round just squeaked by. I would say maybe if we were at a slightly different angle or maybe just a little off to the other side, it would have stopped it. M80A1, already on a compromised plate. Stopped it, no problem. Thanks again to Mike for coming out from RMA Armament and to RMA Armament for bringing out this level four plate. Thanks for watching everybody. Until next time, take it easy.